right, so it all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen, as we set our eyes on the number one light heavyweight contender, Daniel. I often say the greatest part of this job for you and me is seeing a non-champion break through and strike UFC gold for the first time. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. Because you watch these athletes over the course of the fight week try to wrap their mind around how big of a chance they have. And then when you get to Saturday night, you can see it on their face. They're just thinking about what life looks like after. If I get it done, how does my life change? Tonight he has an opportunity to change everything in regards to his life. And his fight week has been exceptional. It was a great weight cut, very forthcoming in our fighter meeting. All eyes on the number one 205 pound contender here tonight. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal. Alex Pajeda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. to make a statement here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight title fight. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Jamal Sweet Green Hill! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, Alex Politan Perea! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Jamal Sweet Dreams still perhaps has the most accurate nickname on the roster. Certainly he has left a lot of bodies in his wake over the last several years. Jimmy Crute and Johnny Walker getting knocked out in round one. And we'll see what Jamal Hill can do here tonight. Certainly the challenges figure to get stiffer as he vaults into legitimate light heavyweight title contention. But he believes he will have the striking advantage over every light heavyweight on the roster, including the opposition here tonight. Pereira's overhand punch to the head looked good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. Oh, not sure if that opened up a cut, but a hard elbow in Titan it lands. You gotta worry about the takedowns. You gotta worry about so many things when you're fighting this balanced fighter that when he starts to throw elbows in tight, you are never expecting it. And that one landed nice. Let him go. Let those hands go. Just missed with the left there. 
hook to the head, lands flush there by Panarin. Nice defense there, huge block. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, nice elbow. Under three minutes to go in round one. Beautiful kick. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, great, great level change there. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. A oh, beautiful hook by Jamal Hill. Under 90 seconds to go. Oh, effective use of the jab. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, big knee. Good jab there by the champion. Sweet dreams, Hill going for the leg kick, he misses. Round two straight ahead. Hey, stop. All right, let me take a seat. Deep breath. Breathe. All right, let's get him some water. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do round it. two underway. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Back and forth we go. One, two, three, high kick, go! Nice punch, man. to show signs of bruising, courtesy of those leg kicks. Keep your hands guys, come on. Let's move, let's recompose, stay He's got that single collar tie locked in. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Yes, to the single collar tie now. Big knee lands to the body. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. This is a terrible position. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Oh, he's got it locked in tight now. That is a fantastic arm bar. Belly down the tip. Oh, he got up. He actually defended. Now, he's not in a great position now, but he's better off than he was before. Ninety seconds to go now. Good work from the top here by Padeda. Big ground and pound. Another ground and pound strike gets home. 
that punch no good. Under a minute now to go in the round. Look to the head there by put in. And everything's landing with so much power. Oh, huge kick! Beautiful shot lands to the leg. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Hill's really limping now, folks. Looks like the leg kicks are really starting to pay dividends for his opponent. All right, round three coming up next. All right, take a seat, bud. Great round. All right, listen to me. Breathe. Deep breath into that nose. Out to that mouth. All right, perfect round. You need to go out there. All right, so there's the end of the round. It had a little bit of everything and nearly a finish due to a submission. But you see, when you're on the ground with him, you're in danger. Yeah. You're constantly under attack. There is no place to rest. Where you can rest with most guys, you got to be very aware against this guy, or he's going to catch you in something that you can't get out of. You ready to fight? You ready? All oh. right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Good corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Hills limping now, Daniel. You see the right leg damage, a lot of it courtesy of that last kick. So we'll see if he can figure out a way to get his footwork back and make the requisite adjustments. Great block there. Hills is starting to swell shut. Lands a big elbow there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Hill going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Just a slip there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Now some separation. That knee, that knee hurt him. Hands higher, hands higher. Sweet Dreams Hill's left leg is now compromised. Perhaps it was that last kick, but clearly you can see he is dealing with a limp, and that could be a storyline that continues as this fight rolls on. turns his hip over when he throws that kick. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tail. Nice job by him defensively there. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. 45 seconds remain in the round. While the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. Oh! Oh, he's wobbling now. Seconds winding down in round three. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Right. 
Ready to fight. Ready. Of course, that fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Sweet dreams, Hills die, and the outside of it really starting to bruise here. You wonder how much weight he can put on that leg moving forward. Oh, that's that biggest shot to fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Pretty interesting to see him mixing it up with the kicks here, some calf kicks, and now attacking the thigh effect. Just throwing a traditional leg kick. The traditional leg kick was a little higher. Everybody wants to talk about that calf kick right now. There's still a lot can be done with those traditional leg kicks. Good work, guys. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Head kick lands. Oh, good block there. Oh! All right, so let us see who has enough left to finish this fight. I'm looking at two fighters who are on the verge of guessing. I mean, they have done everything in their power to finish this fight. But their opponents are so tough that they find themselves very late. Oh, just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's hard. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Seconds now to go in the round. Oh, Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. Tough job, but somebody's got to do it, man. Absolutely incredible. Both fighters got stunned. It's amazing to think that we fight on here. We are in the best seat in the house to watch two men go out there and really lay it on the line. Both got hurt, but even when they were hurt, neither one of them looked like they wanted to take a step back this is the exact type of fight they expected and the type of fight that they're delivering to the fans. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Jamal Hill gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He gets to the single college. I look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Swing and a miss by Jamal Hill. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. This. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. How about these two going at it? We might get a stoppage here soon. Three minutes now to go. 
to decide this one. Good, solid strike on the ground. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Sweet dreams, Hills in half guard now. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out. Oh, oh he's got him hurt here. Just misses there with the left. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Big inside kick. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, head kick lands now. Yep. Man is bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Under one minute to go, fifth and final round. Oh, another crushing leg kick. Man, that one left. He is throwing his hip into every one of these kicks, and it is taking an effect on his opponent. I stop this. You decision is in it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision and still the undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan!